If you've ever felt like printing wasn't challenging enough with one filter, let's make it two. Welcome to the Naked Photographer, where I'll be exposing myself. No, 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 I won't. Mm -mm. That's not better in my head. There are several different ways to control contrast in your black and white print. A color head, like what I have on my enlarger, would allow me to use the actual color filtration to do the job. Or you can print with contrast filters. These are the easiest and most direct way, but these are in set numbers. There's a two, a two and a half, and a three, but there's nothing in between the two and the two and a half. These allow you to get steps in between. With the color head, I can get any step I want between two and two and a half, two and a half and three, by just dialing in the filtration one point at a time. With split grade printing, we're going to control the exposure of the low contrast emulsion and the high contrast emulsion separately. So we're gonna make two exposures, one with a zero filter that exposes the green sensitive low contrast emulsion, and then a second exposure with the five filter, which controls the high contrast blue sensitive emulsion. And varying which, which filter we use and how long for each, will control both our density and our contrast. So let me show you how that's done in practice. Got my negative loaded up, so let's get it in and make our first test strip. So with a zero filter in, in hand and a piece of test paper here, I'm going to cover uh, all but one section. I'm going to set my timer for two seconds. And let's make a test. Group. So the zero filter, two second increments. Zero filter, two, four, six, eight, ten seconds. So looking at this quite close, the 10 seconds right here on the rock are still fairly bright, almost empty of all detail. Uh, now the five filter is going to contribute a small amount, uh, but very little. Um, so, Let's do another test strip and see what it'll look like a little bit longer. So here I have 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16 seconds. So this is the same exposure as the previous. The highlights look pretty good. I can definitely see there's more tone. Let me get the other one. So there's definitely more tone in that rock in the 16 seconds than there is in 10. But you want to make sure you're not confusing contrast for tone. I am not ready to judge that for contrast. And I'm not sure this is actually giving me more tone other than just more density. So I'm going to blow dry this print or the strip and see what that looks like after dry down and see if we're happy with that. So after checking the dry down with the hair dryer, I saw that 10 seconds actually was pretty good. Uh, in fact, once I put the five filter exposure on top of that, nine and a half seconds is going to be what I actually want to use. So I've set my timer for nine and a half seconds. Let's put the paper in the easel and give it a nine and a half second exposure with the zero filter. Now we're going to Close the paper 
for three second increments with the five filter. So, whole print, zero filter, nine and a half seconds. <clears throat> and then I've got my five filter in increments. These are increments of five seconds, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And that's pretty good on the 30 end. I find the contrast pretty close. It's definitely too light here, so 30 seconds. And I can see that this is definitely improved, but we know after drying it, it will get just slightly denser uh, from the dry down. So nine and a half seconds was a good call. <clears throat> okay, so I'm actually going to do a new test strip with a little bit longer than 30 seconds. 30 seconds was pretty good. Let's see if we can get a little bit better with more exposure on the five. So, nine and a half with the zero filter. Let's do 30 seconds with the five filter. give it an additional five. And five more. This will give us 30, 35, and 40. Again, nine and a half seconds with a zero, and now with the five, I'm at 30, 35, 40 seconds. So bear in mind, we are looking at changes in contrast, not necessarily density, because my rock still looks the same regardless in, in terms of the high tones. I can definitely see a difference between 30 and 35. 40, I am losing my density here as the shadows are getting too dark. So I'm not happy with that. 35 is fairly close. 30 is just a touch low. 35 is way too much. So this is where you can really fine tune perfectly. I'm going to go 32 seconds. I could go 32.4 if I really wanted to, to be that critical. But I think 32 is going to be a good choice. So let's try that. Nine and a half. Zero filter. Now thirty two. Five filter. And we're going to burn with the five filter. Do a little bit of this burn. I'm going to give that corner in the bottom left about 10% more time. There we go. Right. There is the final print. Nine and a half seconds with a zero. 32 with 5. So from here, everything looks good. Um, all my burning and everything looks pretty good. Um, so from here, I just need to complete my second fix, my selenium tone, hypoclear, and final wash. 
And there we have the final print. So this, to recap, is a zero filter for nine and a half seconds, and then a five filter for 32 seconds. The zero brought in my highlights, the five brought up the contrast. You can burn any area with whichever filter you need, highlights with the low, um, the shadows with the high five filter. I gave this an edge burn all the way around with a five filter and then burned this corner for an extra 10%. Uh, so in my case, three seconds to bring this grass up. So it doesn't look so dull. It's a very versatile tool. Don't be afraid to mix it up. You do not need to limit yourself to the zero or the five. You can use a two and a five, a two and a four. You can burn with just the five after you've made the print with the three. You know, whatever you need to do to get that final image the way that you want it, you can just mix those tools up and get that. You can even do split grade with the color head, but it might be a little bit more difficult to turn your filtration backwards and forwards. So just keep that in mind, but there's nothing to stop you from doing it other than yourself. It is a little tedious. Uh, I have to admit, swapping the filters in and out before moving the paper would make printing a large addition maybe a little slow. Um, but that is certainly something you can do. If you'd like to get your own copy of this print, you can go to nakedphotographer.us slash store. Um, and I want to thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing.